Hi, I'm Bob Osterhout. I want to talk to you about the principles of stress management. Uh, th this is something that uh, became, became clear to me after about 10 or 12 years of, of uh, counseling and, and teaching students. Um, it's basically a summary of what worked and the opposite of what didn't work. And actually, originally I had 17 principles when I was thinking about this, and I, I would tend to spend a lot of time reflecting on what was helpful and what was not helpful, and how could I do more of what was helpful and less of what was not helpful. And uh, as I kept thinking about that, these patterns just became clearer and clearer until once they, they it just became easily summarized. And since that time, the last oh, 15, 18 years or so, uh, I've been using them consistently and they always seem to take the tension out of the situation and move things in a helpful direction and if you keep applying them, they lead to resolution, okay? Uh, I think of them in many, many ways as a compass that points us toward wisdom. Uh, we would all like to have some some wise sage that we could talk to at any point and just bring them up on our cell phone or something like that to, to give us some advice. But if you think about what are the components of wisdom, okay? Well, there's a sense of peace and calm. You never think of any real wise person talking fast in a hurry. Um, and they see clearly with an open heart, okay? And that's really what the these principles are I wouldn't say design because they were more discovered, but, but what they, they bring us toward and, and one of their functions is to help us to see clearly with an open heart. And from my experience, when people see clearly with an open heart, they have satisfying and fulfilling lives and are able to deal with conflicts and problems in a healthy way pretty consistently, okay? So these are three principles and each one of them work together. Using one of them may be help, somewhat helpful, but each one really feeds on the other and each one is made more possible when you've practiced one or both of the other ones. So uh, they, they, they help to keep you moving in a positive direction and be aware when you're shifting and maybe getting out of that direction and things are getting more in intense and complicated and so forth. So you just keep on moving in a direction that leads toward resolution and, and a more satisfying and fulfilling life, okay? They're very simple, okay? And they can be very efficient, but I wouldn't describe them as quick or easy, okay? People learn them very quickly. My students learn them the first assignment and many times they apply them right after that to situations and, and they, they get some resolution and, and see some significant improvements. But it takes continuing practice over a long period of time to, to really uh, gain the full benefit from them because it involves uh, not just a tool that you, like you take a wrench onto a, you know, a, a nut and, and reef on it and you get the nut loose. Uh, it's more a, a process that you learn and, and, and it deepens and you understand different ways it can work and how it can be applied and, and some place it doesn't make sense and then you figure out how it does and now you've got an even better tool to apply the next situation. So there's something, there's something to be done on an ongoing basis, not something you can just pull out of your pocket, you know, like a wrench. Although, you know, the wrench is helpful now and then, okay, if your problem is, is a little nutty. Um, so they take a few minutes to learn, but really a lifetime to master, okay? And, and I think as soon as we think we've mastered them, then we've got another problem to apply the ABCs to, okay? Uh, so they require practice to develop it and deepen both our ability and our capacity because uh, the more we practice them, we get more into balance and we are able to see more clearly and understand more readily and, and all of that comes together and gives us a greater sense of, of the potential in a situation and what the opportunities are for resolution in, in a healthy way. Okay, so life continues to improve as you apply them. So I'm going to give a brief summary of them. They're explained in detail in the book, and I'll be making other videos on each of the principles. But they're A, B, C, accept, balance, clarify. Now, we always start with balance. Okay, so it's really B, B A, C, but I call them the ABCs because of the match with the alphabet. It's just easier to remember, okay? But balance involves primarily getting rid of tension, stopping the buildup of tension and resolving the tension that's built up and moving in a healthy direction there. Um, that's very important because tension narrows our focus, okay, pulls us toward the negative. This is described in detail in many of the other videos, how that process works. So we l see a distorted picture less clearly when we have more balance. Okay, when you get rid of the tension, you see a larger picture more clearly. So you see more options, you have more opportunities, you can deal with things 
in, instead of a reactive way, because tension is like sunburn, it just makes us react and we want to do something right away, and all the problems are, are immediate and have to be taken care of right away. Whereas once we get into balance, we realize that actually most problems are long-term problems and they're best served by developing a long-term strategy that we adapt over time and adjust to changing situations and seeing what happens. And that's where the ABCs are most helpful. You apply them and you, you take a step and you see what happens, you apply them again and you respond to that and you move forward. Okay, so balance is, is absolutely critical to that. Uh, there are other forms of balance uh, in terms of balance between rest and activity. Uh, so if you've been in bed with the flu for two months, you need to, to really get out and, and slowly build some active activity. You can't do it all at once and, and uh, balance between being alone and with others and, and a number of ways like that that we'll cover in another video. Okay? The, the, the next principle, and they really aren't in an order after you start with balance, is the principle of acceptance. And there are two parts to this. Okay? Acceptance is simply acknowledging the reality of situation as it is, as a starting point for resolution and moving forward. Okay? What we don't do is go into the past about what it should have been or who's at fault or who messed up and what's wrong with this person. All of that judgment and blame just simply quite builds up additional tension and doesn't lead to any resolution. So you let go of that. You simply say this is what is. The other part of acceptance is being able to see and feel from another person's perspective. What does it feel like for them and how do they see this situation? Okay, That makes a connection that allows us to solve the problem. Because when we don't see or understand what another person uh, is, is experiencing, they tend to get defensive. They put up a wall, okay? And we don't see through walls very well, okay? We have to bring those walls down and that's extra work. Uh, and, and it's much simpler to, and we have more information, okay? So we can get on the same page and work together to come to resolution. And then the, the third principle is the principle of clarifying, which is the process of seeing more clearly, seeing a larger picture more clearly. And, and the, the best way to clarify is by asking questions. Dozens of questions, thousands of questions sometimes. Think of all of the questions you can answer. Some that are, that are uh, really helpful, especially at the beginning stages. Is this a short-term or a long-term issue? If so, you know, how, what, what's an initial step that I want to take? What's most important here? In the larger screen, scheme of things, in the long term, what's most important? Uh, asking the question why tends not to actually be clarifying because it can lead you in a lot of directions and down a lot of blind alleys and things like that. But maybe asking the question, how does this happen or how does it continue to happen or what feeds it that keeps it repeating, you know, those kinds of insights are, are really helpful. So clarifying is you never stop asking the questions, okay, because we never can have a completely clear picture on our own. If we bring in other people, we'll get a much larger picture as the more people we have in, especially if we have an accepting, balanced relationship. Uh, but the Clarifying is an ongoing process, and again, there'll be another video that explains this and goes into it in more detail. So the ABCs of stress management uh, basically uh, summarize what I've done in counseling for 36 years. It's basically a summary of what works, and uh, we have yet to come up with a situation in class where students bring up something where they haven't been able to apply it and move it in a helpful direction. They seem to apply to most anything. Uh, they can't be put in place like a recipe or like a tool. Uh, they are a process, and the better you learn it, the better you get at it, which means that every day of your life can a little, be a little bit better than the day before if you apply the ABCs of stress management. Good luck to you.